To set up the React Native Navigation, we have to open the browser and after that we have to search React Native Navigation. Okay. Once you search React Native Navigation, you will get this page reactnavigation.org. Click on this. After that, click on click on Red Docs. Okay. Once you click on Red Docs, you will get this page. Okay. So we are going to use this package. So first of all, we have to install this package as it's called React Navigation Native. Copy this command. Open the terminal. So I'm gonna close this server and paste this command and let me do meet my terminal okay before that let me clear this terminal and we have to paste this command npm install react navigation native once you install this package let open the browser again and if you are using guys expo so you can copy this command after this command but we are using this uh, react native cli so we have to copy this command react native screen react native safe area context let's copy this command after that uh, let me paste this command as well and hit enter so it will install the react native screen and react native safe area context after that you have to further scroll down and this is how we have set up the react navigation native okay now after that we have to do the setup of react native stack navigation all right because we are having a stack navigation we want a stack navigation to do that we have to copy this command again so i'm gonna copy this command as well react navigation native stack paste this command here once more okay and it will install like what what we had done first of all we had installed npm install react navigation native after that we had installed react native screen react native safe area context after that we had installed the react navigation native stack all right and this is how we had set up the react native navigation with the stack navigation so i'm gonna clear my this terminal after that i'm gonna again restart my emulator okay so and after that is starting the metro server now let's press the a to open the app in the emulator but we had just installed the packages but we had not done any code setup so if you see that how to use a creating a native stack navigator this is the code snippet which we are going to use uh, that so as you can see that uh, first of all what they are doing they are importing the react they are importing the view tags okay that's not a big deal so in the root app they have to wrap navigation container let me zoom it for you guys so first of all we have to return the navigation container inside the root inside the app and after that we have we are gonna have a stack dot navigator and we have to declare a variable called stack using the create native stack navigator after that we are having a stack dot screen we have to define the name and the component like this okay so for the sake of simplicity and for the sake of easy for you guys i'm gonna copy this whole code by clicking on this after that i'm gonna go inside the app component okay before that let me zoom it this uh, zoom it out after that you can see that the app is installing currently now the app has been installed and the app has been loaded as well but the things are same so the code which i had copied from here okay i'm gonna paste this whole code here okay now i just paste the whole code and now let's see what has been changes here so if you see that you can see that on the top we are getting the header as a home screen all right so we can have a multiple component so i'm gonna make it component name will be home and for that we are having a home screen component here okay so for the sake of simplicity and for the you guys what i'm gonna do i'm gonna rewrite this code again so i'm gonna re remove this code and i'm gonna do the hands-on with you guys so you guys can remember this code as well so i'm gonna remove this whole code and i'm gonna type rnfe okay not like this rnfe the es7 snippet or extension helped me to write this component quickly after that as you can see that on the code snippet they have telling that you have to return the navigation container in the root component okay so i'm gonna import the navigation container navigation container from the react navigation native okay now once i i you know 
navigate i'm never you know i'm returning the navigation container after that they also tell that you have to write const stack like this so if you see that here we are having a const stack is equal to create native stack navigator so i'm gonna write const stack is equal to create native create a uh, native stack navigator all right like this so we are having const stack is equal to create native stack navigator and we had imported from the react navigation native stack okay now after that inside the navigation container let's go to the inside the navigation container here we have to write a stack like this and we have to write a stack dot screen okay and inside that uh, if you see here what props we have to pass we have to pass two props the name and the component okay so i'm gonna make the name as a home so let's make the name as a home so i'm gonna make the name as a capital casing so all the letters in capital and we have to pass another props that is called component okay but we had not created the home component all right so how we can create the home component so to create the home component i'm gonna create i'm gonna click on app.j6 click on folder and i'm gonna make this source folder src folder inside the src folder i'm gonna create another folder another directory that is called screen inside the screen i'm gonna create a component that is called home screen dot jsx all right now after that as you know that i installed the that extension es7 i'm gonna type r n f e s react native default functional export component along with the style sheet okay now i'm gonna copy this home screen so if you see that this is just a function we are we are having a function and we are returning view text okay and let's go to the app.jsx and here we have to import the home screen like this awesome now if you see here guys we are not getting anything all right that's weird for me as well okay now i'm gonna reload this app so i just reload the app but still i'm not able to see anything uh that's pretty weird for me okay let's open the app again so the app is you know e-commerce app ui so i think so this is the app maybe not this one okay so let's click on a again so it will install the app once more but let's understand why it's not rendering so we are having a stack dot screen we are importing the home screen okay the reason behind that we had make a one mistake okay what is the mistake that whenever we are having a stack dot screen we have to wrap inside the stack dot navigator like this okay and after that you have to write the stack dot screen code got it so this is a mistake which we are doing that's why i do usually copy paste stuff to avoid the typos or to avoid the mistake okay so first of all we had imported the navigation container from the from react navigation native after that we are having a stack dot navigator inside that we are having a stack dot screen and we are having a name and the component component name is called home screen awesome now if you see that here we are having a header by default but if you see on the code we are just having a text uh, like zero degree coder we don't have a top header kind of text right but you can see that just just a code zero degree code we don't have this text right so how we can get rid of this this header okay so get rid of this header what we have to do inside the stack dot navigator you have to just press the space and there's one props which we have to pass that is called screen options okay like this and inside the screen options we have to add another one more bracket and hit enter once you hit enter just press control plus space and type header header zone header zone as a false okay so i just make header zone as a false and now the header has been removed from the ui all right now after that let's go to the figma so we have to dis design this text find your suitable watch now so i'm gonna copy this text quickly and now we have to primarily focusing on designing this home screen now if you see that this is the uh, find your suitable text here we are having a different font family 
or font bold so what we are going to do we are going to design this home screen quickly so I'm gonna collapse this folder and after that let me minimize this as well and here inside the text I'm gonna add this text as a well find your suitable watch now now after this we have we gonna design this uh, design this home screen